Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for being with us throughout the day. As we are going to read your words now, give us the heavenly wisdom and guide us throughout the day. From the beginning until the end, be with us and guide us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now let us read Daniel chapter 3. Nebuchadnezzar, the king, made an image of gold whose height was three score cubits and the breadth of it six cubits. He set it up in the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, sent to gather together the prince, the governor, and the captain, the judge, the treasurer, the counselor, the sheriff, and all the ruler of the province to come to the dedication of the image which Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Then the prince, the governor, the cap and captain, the judge, the treasurer, the counselor, the sheriff, and all the ruler of the province were gathered together unto the dedication of image the Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. And they stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Then an herald cried aloud to you, It is commanded, O people, nation and language, that all that time that ye hear the sound of horn, pipe, lyre, sackbut, psaltery, dulcimer, and all kind of music, ye fall down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. And whoever falls not down and worships shall the same har be cast into the midst of the burning fairy furnace. Therefore at that time, when all the people heard the sound of the horn, pipe, lyre, sackbut, psaltery, and all kind of music, all the people, the nation, and the language fell down and worshipped the golden image and Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Wherefore at that time, certain Chaldeans and near the accused the Jews. They spoke and said to the king Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. Though O king had missed a decrease, and every man that shall hear the sound of horn, pipe, lyre, sackbut, psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music shall fall down and worship the golden image. And whoever fall down and not worship that, he should be cast into the midst of burning fairy furans. There and certain Jews whom thou hast set over the fair of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, these men, O king, had not regarded thee. They serve not thy God, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar in his rage and fury commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spoke and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image that I have set up? Now if ye be ready that all the time that ye hear the sound of the horn, pipe, lyre, sackbut, psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music to fall down and worship the image which I have made, well, but if ye worship not, ye shall be cast the same har into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said, To the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it is be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known until thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of the visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spoke and commanded that they should heat the furnace seven times more than it was usually heated and the commanded the most mighty men the were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men were born into their courts, 
their stockings and their turbans and the other garments and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace therefore because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace exceedingly hot the flame of the fire slew those men took up shadrach meshach and abednego and these three men shadrach meshach and abednego fell down bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace then nebuchadnezzar the king was astounded and rose up in haste and spoke and said unto his counselor did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire they answered and said unto the king true o king he answered and said lo i see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire and they have no hurt and the form of the fourth is like a son of the gods then nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fire finance and spoke and said Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servant of the Most High God, come forth and come here. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth from the midst of fire. And the prince, governor, and the captain, and the king's counselor, being gathered together, saw these men upon whose bodies the fire had no power, nor was an hair of their head signed, neither were their coat changed, nor the smell of the fire had passed on them. Then Nebuchadnezzar, spoke and said blessed be the god of shadrach meshach and abednego who had sent his angel and delivered his servant who trusted in him and had changed the king's word and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god therefore i make a decree that every people nation and language who speak any thing a mist against the god of shadrach meshach and abednego shall be cut into pieces and their house shall be made a refuse hay because there is no other god that can deliver after this sort then the king promoted shadrach meshach and abednego in the province of babylon amen now let us read isaiah chapter 25 o lord thou art my god I will exalt thee I will praise thy name for thou hast done wonderful things the counsel of old are faithfulness and truth thou hast as made of a city and heap of a fortified city a ruin a palace of foreigner to be no city it shall never be built therefore shall the strong people glorify thee the city of the terrible nation shall fear thee for thou hast been a strength to the poor a strength to the needy and his distress a refuge from the storm a shadow from the heat when the blast of the terrible one is like a storm against a wall thou shalt bring down the noise of aliens as the heat in a dry place even the heat with the shadow of a cloud the branch of a terrible one shall be brought low and in this mountain shall the lord of host makes unto all people a feast of fat things a feast of wines on the lees of fat things full of marrow of wines on the lees well refined and he will destroy in the mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the wheel that is spread over all nation he will swallow up death into the victory and the lord god will wipe away tears from all faces and the rebuke of his people shall he take away from all the earth for the lord has spoken it and it shall be said in that day lo this is our god we have waited for him and he will save us this is the lord we have waited for him we will be glad and rejoice in his salvation for in this mountain shall the hand of the lord rest and moab shall be trampled down under him even as a straw is trampled down for a dung hill and he shall spread forth his hands in the midst of them as he had swimmed spread forth his hands to swim and he shall bring down their pride together with the spoils of their hands and the fortress of the high fort of thy wall shall be bring down lay low and bring to the ground even to the dust amen now let us read Isaiah chapter 26 In that day shall the song be sung in the land of Judah 
We have a strong city. Salvation with God appoints for walls and bulwarks. Open ye the gates, and the righteous nation that keeps the truth may enter in. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusts in thee. Trusted ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord God is everlasting strength. For he brings down those who dwell on a high. The lofty city he laid down. He laid it low, even to the ground. He brings it even to the dust. The foot shall tread it down, even the feet of the poor, and the steps of the needy. The way of the just is uprightness. The most upright does win the path of the just. Yeah, in the way of thy judgment, O Lord, have we waited for thee? The desire for our soul is to thy name. and in the remembrance of thee with my soul have i desired thee in the night yeah with my spirit within me with will i seek thy earlier for when thy judgment are in the earth the inhabitant of the world will never learn righteousness let favor be shown to the wicked yet will he not learn righteousness in the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly and will not Behold the majesty of the Lord, Lord. When thy hand is lifted up, they will not see, but they shall see, and be ashamed for their envy at the people. Yeah, the fire of thine enemies shall devour them. Lord, thou wilt ordain peace for us, for thou also hast wrought all our work in it. O Lord, our God, other lords beside thee had dominion over us. But by thee only will we make mention of thy name. They are dead; they shall not live. They are diseased; they shall not rise. They forehast to visited and destroyed them, and made all their memory a perish. Thou hast increased the nation, O Lord. Thou hast increased the nation. Thou art glorified. Thou hast removed it far unto it all the ends of the earth, Lord. In trouble have they visited thee? They poured out a prayer when the chastening was upon them, as a woman with child who drawn near the time of her delivery is in pain, and cried out a pang. So have we been in the sight, O Lord. We have been with child, we have been in pain, we have in were brought forth when we have not brought and deliverance in the earth. Neither have inhabitant of the world fallen. Thy dead men shall live together with my dead body. Shall they arise, awake and sing, ye that dwell in dust? For thy dew is like the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. Come, my people, enter thou into the chambers, and shut thy door about thee. Hide thyself as it were for the little moment until the indignation is past. For behold, the Lord comes out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Amen. Now let us read First Corinthians chapter fifteen, one to twenty. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you. Which also ye have received, and in which ye stand, by which also you are saved, if ye keep in memory that I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I deliver unto you first of all that which I have also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that He was buried, and that He rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. And that he has was seen to Cephas, then of the twelve. After that he was seen of above five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remains unto this present time, but some are fallen asleep. After that he was seen of James, that of all the apostles. At last of all he was seen of me also, as of one born out of due time. For I am the least of the apostles, that am not fit to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. 
but by the grace of god i am what i am and this grace which was bestowed upon me was not in the vain but i labored more abundantly than they all yet not i but the grace of god which was with me therefore whether it were i or they so we preach and so ye believed now if christ be preached that he rose from the dead how say some among you that there is no resurrection of dead but if there is no resurrection of dead then is christ not risen and if christ be not risen then is our preaching vain and ye faith is also vain yeah and we are found false witness of god because we have testified of god that he had raised up christ whom he raised not up if not be the dead rise not for if the dead rise not then it's not christ raised and if christ be not raised your faith is vain ye not in your sins then they also who are fallen asleep in the christ are perished if in this life only we have hope in christ we are all men most miserable but now is christ risen from the dead and become the first fruit of them that slept amen let us pray heavenly father thank you for helping us to read your heavenly words today thank you for making us understand what you have spoke to us today be with us and guide us throughout our day in jesus name amen god bless you